approaches to learning, ATLs, are simply referring to skills that will help you learn. And there are seven of these according to the IBMYP. These include, in no particular order, organization, collaboration, communication, information literacy, reflection, thinking, and transfer. There's an importance of these skills in a student's ability to learn and to the very philosophy of education. We all know the proverb in which if we give a man some fish, he will be fed for a day. But if we teach him how to fish, he will, know, he will be fed for a lifetime. So this is the thinking that goes behind these ATLs. We want to equip students um, with the skills in which they can acquire knowledge by themselves and they can progress, before, um, uh, progress both personally and professionally. Um, and the professional part is especially important because it uh, indicates that these ATL skills will be important past the school life in an extension into um, a workplace that the student may go to after graduating. However, in the short term, in school, these ATL skills are especially important, especially if the student wants to succeed in certain subjects. For example, often students don't understand the import importance of reflecting. Perhaps this is because they don't have the incentive to do this themselves. But come exam season, this becomes an especially important ATL to learn and to use because no one else will be doing the reflecting for you. It's a self-process. You have to go over your work, you have to go over your strengths and your weaknesses. And you have to realize that this part of a certain syllabus, for example, the syllabus of math or physics, you're weak at and you need to dedicate time to that. And through that, you'll find that this facilitates other ATLs, such as organization. You need to organize yourself. And this is something which the IB is uh, very renowned for because uh, it's supposed to teach students how to organize themselves, especially in the workplace, and uh, especially in school and the workplace. And these are things that universities appreciate, and as well as employers. Um, but reflecting in itself, um, from personal experience, it can seem tedious at times, but it did definitely help, especially when the textbooks there's a lot of information in there. And come exam season, you need to know where you're weak at. You can't just go cover to cover in a textbook, especially if it's something like math. You need to know which parts you're weak at so you can go over that. Um, and yet there's uh, other uh, key skills to the reflecting process themselves. You'll find the collaboration and help from others, especially feedback, is important. Um, and for this, you need both communication and collaboration with our, an, another two uh, ATLs. So you can see that the, uh, so the seven ATLs, they encompass an entire attitude toward learning. So these are sub-skills that you need. And for collaboration, you'll find uh, the IB teaches this through various projects. So you have the TOK presentation, you have the language B um, orals that you have to give, the group work orals, and you have activities in math where you need to work with each other so for the IA and reflect. Um, but through this, there's another skill of communication. You need to know how to you know, uh, pitch forward ideas so, uh, to both your friends and to teachers. You need to know how to work together and communication is a key skill in that. Uh, communication is especially important in certain, uh, in, the language, in the languages because of projects such as the IOC, um, which is the individual oral commentary, um, entirely, which is 30% of your grade. So it is a good skill to pick up to how to communicate. Um, so if you do have these skills, students will find that it becomes very easy to acquire knowledge and to both transmit it. Transmitting knowledge is another ATL. So as we can see that the ATLs encompass the entire attitude to his learning and together they provide a student with that tool that they need in order to tackle challenging situations, both in school and after school, as they will now have this skill set which will allow them lifelong, lifelong learning skills. And this will help them succeed in both school and the future.